Hey everyone, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal. With me I have Sam, and the first thing I'm going to say is that, you know, it's it's not easy for patients to uh, demo, you know, their injuries like this, so I want to thank you so much for um, helping to teach everybody out there in the world and uh, on how we can evaluate patients better so that we can be more efficient and um, do a nice job and, and get you all taken care of as quickly as possible. So again, thank you. Um, and thank you to all you folks who are watching. Um, I hope you enjoy the videos. We're gonna continue you know, pushing this along as much as we can because I just love to teach. So um, Sam, how old are you? 27. 27, and um, you injured your left knee. When did this happen? About a month ago. And uh, explain to us what happened. I was playing soccer and I was running towards the ball and I planted my left foot and twisted just a little bit when I went to kick with my right foot. And when I did that motion, my knee gave out and something popped in my knee and I fell to the ground. Okay, now when you say your knee gave out, did it give out like it fell straight ahead like this or did it kind of go in and out like? It was just all wobbly. Okay, all right. <laughs> so. That's important to, to recognize if somebody has, you know, if the quad just gives out straight ahead like that, sometimes it's just a little shut down and the quad becomes weak and the leg gives out. Um, so, you know, this is more of a kind of a, a medial to lateral giving way type of episode. Did it swell right away? No, not really. Were you able to get up and start walking on it? No. Okay, so it kind of felt like it wasn't going to support you very well. Yeah. Did it swell later on? Not a whole lot, no. It really okay. hasn't swelled up. It swelled up a little bit after I was on my feet for two days. But. Okay, and that's not uncommon for ACLs. Uh, you know, if they tear, they kind of bleed slowly sometimes. Um, and some people, they have this really dramatic swelling in the knee. Sam did not. She actually, after a couple of days, started walking really well. I'm not even going to demonstrate her walking today because <laughs> it's perfect. You wouldn't even know which knee it was uh, when you watch her walk. Have you had any episodes of your knee giving out since uh, the injury? Yes. Yes. It has given out a couple times, yes. okay? So you've had an MRI and um, you have an ACL tear. Mm -hmm. uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to go through just a little brief evaluation here and show you what, um, how I'd evaluate this. And um, we've already done this eval before, so we're going to modify it a little bit for the video. Um, so first thing, uh, first things first, can I get you to turn right around? And we're going to have you on your back. There we go. And so the first thing I look at is um, I check for a temperature change. And there is. This knee is definitely warmer than the right one. Um, you might, I don't know if you can see this on the, uh, on the video, but she does have a little bit of puffiness and a little bit of swelling. So I'm going to do a brush test with her. And it doesn't really, it's not very dramatic, but I can still feel a little bit of swelling in there compared to this one. There's just, I can feel the definition of the kneecap and the femur better. Um, and she has a slight ballotment test. Okay, so there's a little squishiness there, okay, compared to this one where the, the patella is right on the femur. So she does have a little effusion. Typically, people who tear their ACLs end up in a flexed knee posture. She just does not have that common presentation. Now, the next thing I'm going to check um, is going to be her motion. She has good hyperextension. Can you bend it for me? What do you feel? It's very tight. Okay, like a fullness type of feeling. And that's quite common after injuring a meniscus or ACL or anything intra-articular. It causes an effusion and it puts a lot of distension in that capsule. Um, and as a result, can shut the quad down and not make it function very well. So the next thing I like to see is how well she can tighten up. So tighten up the good leg, push your knee down. Good. And now tighten up this one. And it's just a little mushier. I'm already starting to see some atrophy. She's uh, prehabbing right now and getting ready for surgery. And um, so that's good that we're doing that. Um, the next thing I want to check out is, did she have any uh, collateral ligament injury also? So I'm going to do her medial capsule. I'm going to give her a little bit of pressure. Medial collateral at 20 degrees to 25 degrees of flexion. Any problems there? No. Okay. I'm going to take you out this way. Lateral capsule. Any problems there? No. And how about if I do this? No. No problem there. So the collaterals and the capsules are looking good. I like to palpate the joint line to see if she has any signs of meniscal injury. Any problems with that? No. And she was even right after. I'm going to do the lateral joint line now. No problem there. Now I like to compress that medial joint line a little bit and I like to flex an extender. 
Any problems with that? No. Just a little bit tight when we get down here, but that's yeah. naturally because of the effusion in the knee. We're gonna do the lateral meniscus. So we just give her a little bit of a valgus stress while we um, flex and extend her. Any problems there? No. So medial lateral meniscus look good. Um, she's got a little bit of quad suppression. Now we're going to uh, check her PCL out. And you can see here, she doesn't have a lag or sag sign. Okay, posterior drawer. It's nice and solid, no problem there. So the next test we're gonna do is gonna be the Lockman test. What I'm gonna do is keep her at about 20 to 25 degrees of motion here. I'm gonna support her thigh. I'm not gonna squeeze it really hard. And I'm just gonna give a, I need you to relax. Just let that leg totally go, good. And we're gonna give a little anterior Jordan. You can see that instability right there, okay? It should come to a knock. ACLs, when they are solid, have a nice end point, just like pulling on your shirt like this, okay? But hers is not, it's got kind of like a little sloppy end point. We don't feel that nice snap and we have too much excursion, okay? So she, that is a, the, you know, classic ACL injury. Um, and uh, she, she doesn't have a lot of swelling like some people. She's exercising, she's ambulating well um, on the right track and uh, getting ready for surgery. So if you have any questions in regards to the uh, evaluation of a patient with an ACL injury, just leave those in the show notes. And again, um, give us a thumbs up if you liked our video and be sure to subscribe. Thanks.